Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of having a great attitude in life. The quality of your life is based on the quality of your thoughts. But more importantly, the quality of your life is also based on the type of attitude you choose to have. How open are you to learning, adapting, and admitting when you are wrong? Do you have a positive outlook on life or are you constantly seeing the negative? The people who think they never need to grow are often the people that never truly reach their full potential because they hinder their own growth by being close to learning. Being open and having a great attitude is vital in achieving success and having a full and happy life. Having a great attitude opens doors in life for great relationships, for evolving into your best self, and importantly, learning and growing constantly. We progress when we shift our attitudes from thinking we know everything to having the mindset of a student where life is our teacher. As the saying goes, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you fix it. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. I know you can't talk too much about it, but let's talk about, can we talk about your role in tenants? It's going to be a great film. It's the great Christopher Nolan, the genius. Yeah, it, it was it, it was an honor to work with him. It was a real honor working with him. And uh, you know, he makes some amazing films, yeah. And this is going to be one of those. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Hand sanitizers have become extremely important in our daily life in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Greenish, the brand you trust, now introduces hand sanitizer, which is approved by Health Canada, contains 75% food grade ethanol, has a pH balanced formula, and absorbs rapidly and completely, leaving the skin soft and supple. Kills 99.9% .9 of the germs. Greenish hand sanitizer is available in 300 ml pump action bottles. For further information, visit your neighborhood pharmacy or www.greenish.com. Next up on the show, we have Denzel Smith, who has made his mark in Bollywood and Hollywood. Acting in over 45 plays and 50 films, his impressive portfolio include Viceroy's House, The Exotic Marigold Hotel, Delhi Crimes on Netflix, and the highly anticipated Hollywood movie Tenet, written and directed by Christopher Nolan. How are you doing? Thank you for being on the show today. It's nice to see you. My pleasure, Daryl. <laughs> this is fantastic, yeah, talking to you. Before I even get into it, let's talk about quarantine. How is everything in India? I know you mentioned it was bad, right? So how is it with the whole Corona situation? How, how is everyone coping there, including you? Uh, it's difficult. Let's say it's just difficult. It's not very easy at the moment because uh, cases are progressively getting uh, more and more. So it'll be a while before it all subsides. And uh, I hope, I have hope that it will get better soon. Uh, India had a head start with uh, the lockdown uh, whole shebang. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, after they lifted it, it seems to have increased again. The number of cases. Yeah. And how is the film industry doing there? Is it still moving along or is everything kind of come to a standstill? Everything is almost at a standstill. There is no work happening. There's hardly any shooting happening. Uh, and in fact, it's not likely to happen for a bit. I do, I, in my estimation, no work in the film industry or the entertainment industry is going to begin until at least uh, January or February. You've been in a number of Hollywood, Bollywood and international films. 
let's start where your passion began. When did this all begin for you? Well, uh, you know, they say your earliest memories in childhood leave an indelible impression on your cranial video screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was actually your grandfather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? That yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Who uh, used to be a singer and uh, uh, an amateur actor of sorts and a musician. And uh, it was, I was, I think, about nine years old when I, I was backstage when he was doing an, uh, a performance in a parish play. And I think the play was Monkey's Paw. Uh, and uh, he had uh, his hand, he was playing a veteran without an arm. And he had tied up his hand at the back and had let the sleeve hang down to show that he had no arm. And he stayed that way the whole evening. And I was quite fascinated yeah. with all that. And I was backstage and uh, watching all these people, you know, in a flurry and everybody stands thinking of their lines and frenetic uh, activity happening, you know. And it was all very fascinating for me at that time. And that left quite a memory. And I said, I must do theatre, you know. Yeah, so I started doing it in school and college and uh, subsequently uh, went on to do amateur stage here in Bombay. And then one fine day I said, forget it all, I'm going to become an actor. Yeah. yeah. Well, the yeah. arts definitely runs in our family. Let's talk, yeah. when was your big break? When did that moment happen for you? I can't really say which was a big break. There was there were no really big breaks as such. Uh, I started uh, with theater, you know. I, I used to do a lot of... My big break, I consider, was actually in theater because I I, um, I got in with the greatest actor in the country. Uh, he picked me up and um, made me a part of his group and uh, subsequently cast me in about five plays. Uh, wherein I uh, trained under him. Uh, that actor is Nasiruddin Shah, whom I was actually just rehearsing with this afternoon. Uh, and uh, he took me under his wing and I always wanted to be a theatre actor. I thought, I was very idealistic and thought, you know, uh, yes, I will make a living, living in, doing living and working in the theatre. But uh, that was not to be. As we all know, the world over, <laughs> <laughs> Theatre doesn't pay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, not many people can survive on it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, what happened. Actually, I consider that my real big break when I started doing a play, doing plays with him, and actually watching him from close quarters and getting trained by him. And speaking about theater, you're an amazing film actor and you're also a very powerful theater actor. Um, what do you prefer, film or theater? <laughs> there's no question about that. There's, there's absolutely no debate about it. Uh, I uh, really enjoy the theater. It's like uh, tasting blood. Once you've tasted blood, you know, <laughs> it's like a man-eater tasting blood. <laughs> Once you've been on stage, and you've enjoyed it, you always want to return to it. Yeah. And yeah. I have enjoyed stage very much. Yeah, of course I do enjoy film work too. I really enjoy film work, and especially if the roles are challenging and involves a lot of research and, you know, um, uh, it, 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 it uh, roles that draw me in, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I enjoy that too. Yeah, what would you say is more difficult, theater or film? There's no such thing as, everything is as easy as it is difficult. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> Something, uh, you know, a two minute appearance in a film might be more difficult than doing a three hour play. Yeah. Uh, you know, and sometimes uh, doing a three hour script may be more difficult than doing a lengthy role in a film. So everything is as easy as it is difficult. It's up to, up to, up to the person. Yeah, that's that's very yeah. true. What kind of challenges did you face when you first got into the industry? Because 
you know what? The show business is hard. It's difficult. So what kind of challenges do you did you face when you first began and even now? See, in my case, the milieu and the society that which from which I come uh, did not really look upon Hindi movies as <laughs> uh, a very big thing. I, I grew up on a diet of Hollywood and British films. Yeah. And uh, Hindi movies were quite alien to us, although we lived in India and are Indian and all that. But the kind of milieu that we, I grew up in, in an English speaking milieu, you know. So, firstly, the language was a bit of an issue. Uh, I never thought I'd get into Bollywood because uh, one didn't have, of course, one did study uh, Hindi and the other Indian languages in school, but one never spoke it. Yeah. Uh, you know? So, uh, I, I, I didn't really think about uh, Hindi movies at that time. All I wanted to do was uh, Indian English theatre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then I soon realised that I couldn't make a living from the theatre and I had to be in the movies. Mm -hmm. And the only, opportunity, the only opportunities that existed were in the Hindi movies. Mm -hmm. I do not like to call it Bollywood. Mm -hmm. The Hindi movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Indian Hindi films. And uh, so I had to make the effort to learn and be proficient in the language. So my 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 uh, challenge, actually, the, the the challenges I faced was my name. Everybody thought Denzel Smith, you know, Indian Christian Anglo Indian. How will he speak Hindi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the Christians are not known to speak Hindi in India, you know, <laughs> a minority that uh, speaks largely English uh, as their mother tongue. So, uh, the, my name itself was a disadvantage. Of course, now they are far more accepting and once they know. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you've worked alongside some of Hollywood and Bollywood's uh, biggest names like Judy Dench, um, Dev Patel. What's been your favorite film and actor to work with to date? Uh, see, all of them. Are, I mean, I've had a great time working with everybody. You know? there, are, there are lessons to learn from all the greats. One, uh, you know, just observes and learns. And uh, there was Bill Nighy, who was great. Uh, great company on the set and good fun and a fantastic actor whom I spent a lot of time with. There was uh, Hugh Bonneville who I, I worked with, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Viceroy's house. Uh, a, a role that I tremendously enjoyed doing, Jinnah. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. When I did that part with Gurinder Chadda. So, there were, there, was, there were many great, it's, it's, uh, uh, recently in Tenet, I enjoyed working with uh, John David Washington, yes. uh, who is uh, my namesake's uh, son. Great guy, what a wonderful guy. I had real good, I, I enjoyed working with him, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Denzel Washington's son. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> um, I know you can't talk too much about it, but let's talk about, can we talk about your role in Tenet? Can you speak about that a little bit? What can people expect from this movie at least? It's going to be a great film. It's the great Christopher Nolan, mm -hmm. the genius. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it, it was an honor to work with him. Yeah. It was a real honor working with him. And uh, you know, he makes some amazing films, yeah. And this is going to be one of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. You had a chance to meet with him. How was, what was he like? What was the audition process like? Oh, wonderful. I was in uh, Bangkok shooting for a commercial when I got a call from a casting agent in LA. I don't know how they got my number, but wow. they asked me to do a particular scene from a film. Uh, I, I looked up the, that, that script that they had sent me and I said, this is from this film. I went to look at the film and there was no scene as such in that film. That scene wasn't there in the oh, film. So there was no reference point. Yeah. But I had a brief of what they wanted and the kind of character they wanted. And I did that. I asked my makeup man, whom I had, who had come with me from Bombay, to shoot it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I did that audition in my hotel room and sent it immediately, not expecting anything. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, after two days i think i i got a call saying that yes you're on wow yeah yeah that's quite an honor i mean to audition for such a huge movie let's talk about your transition because you did a lot of bollywood movies you've done hollywood international movies uh viceroy's house uh delhi crimes even my my editor over here knows you very well and he watches all of your movies um let's talk about the transition from bollywood to hollywood was it difficult for you at all or how did you kind of adapt there was no real transition i still do both yeah. i tried uh both uh both industries you know it's wherever the work is yeah it didn't really happen consciously uh but I, as i was working here in in the hindi film industry i got these uh, the casting directors knew me and they kept calling me for these films that were going to be shot in india mm-hmm. yeah and that's how i got cast mm-hmm. yeah and you've always had such a love for india i know you know you love living there and our roots are there as well but um let's talk about that your love for india and working in the bollywood industry india is a great country it's a wonderful wonderful country unfortunately uh it's going through some very difficult times uh it is the people who are wonderful but the leaders uh and some of the the things that are happening in the country are not really uh, uh conducive towards making it a great nation at the moment you know uh not that i am disillusioned but i have hope i think uh, india has tremendous potential its people are wonderful it is a country of uh, unity in diversity the diversity is just unbelievable and yet there is so much unity yeah and uh, that is what uh, uh used to be stressed upon and which made india a great country but unfortunately that's being uh, uh negated that concept is being negated uh you know, by by certain quarters uh there is the right which is coming up it's, uh, i i i i mean there is uh, i could go into politics but there is hope for this country there is great hope india is a great country and i love living here and i i will always be an indian uh and uh, yeah yeah i i agree i love mumbai um it's it's always so exciting there's so much going on and you feel different there it's one of those places that you can go to dubai you can go here and there but nothing really feels like bombay you know it's, there's a different feel <laughs> on the other hand um i i am not a, a great uh, one for borders and for uh, this uh, jingoistic nationalism you know uh borders are the, the the world is is one big big one big uh, beautiful place yeah and i wish we didn't have borders and things like countries and etc etc yeah that's very very true <laughs> let's talk about what advice do you have for people in this industry cuz you've been in the industry for a long time um and there's so many people that want to make it and that are struggling and are giving up hope especially at a time right now with everything that's happening in the world what advice do you have for being successful in this industry like you have see uh, there is there is no real mantra for success yeah and especially in a, in the profession of uh, of uh, uh, actors yeah what is uniform across all areas i think it this applies to any profession whether it's uh, in the arts or any, anything that you do you might want to be a lawyer one has to be uh, open mm-hmm. uh there is a how actually you know the how the h o w is the you want us to be honest open minded mm-hmm. and willing willing to learn willing to try willing to be you know to experience new things yeah this is the how i think that's the the key thing the how is the honesty the open mindedness and the willingness if one has these three qualities i think you'll be successful anywhere and then of course there comes perseverance yeah 100% yeah and what do you think the key to your success has been 
What, what do you think that kind of separated you from other actors out there? Success? I, I don't know if I'm successful, really. And I, I don't sure. consider, I, I don't. I don't think about success or failure. I think both success and failure are like, both are imposters, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I try not to think of uh, I'm successful or I have failed, you know, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as I have been honest in my commitment and my work, I think these things don't matter. I think yeah. that's great advice. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being on the show today and congratulations on all of your success. And I'm really excited to watch Tenet. I know you can tell us too much about it, but I'm really excited and to see all of your uh, future movies and endeavors. Yeah, it's going to be a great film. Yeah, uh, yeah watch out for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch live through YouTube and Facebook.